I'm here with Hole 5 guy, Will Miller, my travel mate and uh, internationally renowned disc golfer. Will, you finally put yourself right in that position for this World Championships. How you sitting? I'm about three dozen back from Paul Macbeth, and I'd just like to say for the record, we got three rounds left. And plus semis, plus final nine. Plus semis, plus final nine. So, a lot of golf left, a lot of golf left. And I'm just saying Mick Beast might want to watch his Mick back, because if I beat Paul by 12 strokes for the next three rounds, yep. I'm basically tied with him. And uh, it's going to the semis, and then all the other guys and Paul are going to have to deal with me. They will, because I mean, obviously, momentum will be in your favor at that point. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, 36 I... strokes plus semis and final nine, that's basically your world title. I mean, basically, I mean, if you think about the fact that he smoked B, me by 36 strokes in three rounds, if I, if I can beat him by 36 strokes in three rounds, it's obviously going my way. And, uh, I'm just saying, I'm coming. I'm he coming. is. All right, what's going to be your strategy? I mean, you've got a mean like 230 to 274 hand. You've got, you know, a, a good three, 325 backhand. What's going to be your strategy to really take take these guys down? Um, I'm going to do a little meditation tonight. Um, tomorrow on the gold, I'm going to try to throw about five, 550 on the long holes. I'm going to try to make everything within 60, 60 75 feet. Jumpers or no? Or just I'm the... not going to jump. I'm just going to throw it in. No. Um, but first, when you're outside of that 30, are you going to 33? You're going to be like, guys, I'm out, right? Yeah. You know, just to confirm. And, yeah, and they'll be like, yeah, you're out. You're totally out. I'm like, I'm just kidding, guys. I have to make a jump. Yeah. So, so basically, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put everything in from 60 to 75. I'm going to throw 500 feet. Um, throw on a line. So if you really think about it, 113th place and first, I mean, it doesn't, it sounds like a lot, but if you think about it, it's not that far away. No, no. All right, so tonight you're going to fuel up. I know Paul has this routine. It's chilies, blah, 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 his baby back ribs or whatever he goes and gets. Tonight, where are you going? What are you going to do? Uh, we're going to go to Abuelo's where we get 20% off. Uh, because we're professional disc golfers and they're hooking us up. And uh, we're gonna eat some uh, enchiladas, tacos, whatever they got, we're gonna eat it. And I'm gonna have a couple old chubs. It's a, it's an American beer. It's a Scotch ale. It's a Scotch ale, and it's it's got a lot of uh, it's got a lot of calories and so you're fuel. Out, it's you, a lot of fuel. You're outright calling out McBeast. Um, are you even concerned about the rest of the field, or he's just the reigning world champ that's in the lead? Where, where, where are you going with that? Well, right now he's Mick winning, and I'm, I'm, I'm. He's, he's. You're he's, Mick losing. I'm Mick losing. I'm, I'm Mick almost last. Okay. But Mick not. And uh, right now he's got the he's got the momentum. He's got the score. If somebody else gets in the way, well. I'll deal with that when I have to, but right now I'm shooting I'm shooting for Paul. And if if Nate wants to get in or Cameron, Cameron or anybody, like I'm ready to keep up. Alright, any sponsors you wanna go out and thank right now? I mean you'll have time once you've been crowned champ, but any sponsors you need a shout out to right now? Um, I'd like to thank Whole Five Guy, who is me, who sponsored me for most of my career. Uh, Terry the Disc Golf Guy for traveling with me to every Worlds I've been to and for kind of showing me the ropes and making me feel at home. Uh, Matt Parker, uh, also known as Peter Parker, mm -hmm. the Spider-Man as we call him, Yep. and uh, for traveling with us, staying with us. And uh, for all the kids at home that are watching on Disc Golf Planet TV, like, yeah. this is why we're here. I mean, they're not going to be able to cover you because you're going to be in the B pool on like the 16th card. so. Disc Golf Planet's probably not going to, like, randomly run into you unless, like, a cameraman trips you or something. But, um, you know, we'll be able to catch up with them a little later. Well, I'm thinking, like, the semis. The and, semis and finals. And obviously the finals. Like, they're gonna Naturally. Be, they're going to be on every hole for the finals. There's only going to be four, maybe five of us on the finals. So. Yeah. And, and by then, you may even have that locked up. I don't think I'll have it locked up, honestly. Okay. Like, I don't think I'll be outright winning come, okay. the, come the finals, but... I think there's a chance that I will be right in the mix, and I think 
make everybody better to watch out. All right, any final, like, last minute, last second throwdowns here? I mean, you've called out a few big names. You've said what you're going to do. This is it. Uh, my mom for supporting me, my lady at home, uh, my Toyota Corolla for making its third trip to Worlds. Like, you're balling. I'm balling. All yeah. right. Well, well, we'll see game. what kind of vi uh, what kind of vehicle you upgrade to once this is done. Mm -hmm. Crown champ. All right. You're hearing it here first. He is calling his game. He is calling his shot. This is Will Miller, hole five guy, and McBeast, and the rest of the field, myself included. You just better get out of the way. Mm -hmm. This guy's coming at you. Going for the one, Pete. One, Pete. Hole five guy, the disc golf guy, and we'll catch you guys next time when he's crowned champion.